but he said you'd definitely be my type. And am I? Wow. Straight to the point, okay? <laughs> Olga! Identify yourself. Huh? Identify myself for what? <laughs> you know, yeah, this one, a proper yahoo yahoo boy. My mother is coming down this weekend. Hey everyone, welcome to yet another time with me. My name is Chacha Wabara and um, I want to thank you so much. If this is your first time here, where we do our movie reviews, if that is what you want to see, do keep coming back. Thank you for joining us. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come your way. Today we'll be reviewing a Nigerian movie. Um, it is a 2022 Nigerian movie called Jolly Roger. Um, you would know that that is kind of like a colloquial um, term that Roger is like, come Roger me in Nigerian language is like, you know, come on. Give me something. Give me a tip. Bribe me. That's what most um, policemen use. So when they say Roger me, or they won't say give me money. Or they might just say yeah, Roger, Roger me, Roger the boys or something like that. So yes, that's what it means. Now this Nigerian movie has actors and actresses like um, Tony Tones, Daniel Etim Effiong, Demi Okanlawo, uh, Frank Donga, Tinamba, as well as other actors and actresses to numerous to mention. I'm just going to dive into this movie. And um, it was a movie that started in a very wonderful way because I was wondering where it was going. At first, I thought it was a continuation of um, uh, one movie that um, Daniel Etimefiong starred in that had to do with um, police brutality because it was just like it was just started that way so I, I i was like okay let me just see the angle these people want to come in from well it was a whole different thing altogether although you know we're still talking about police brutality police corruption and all of that but what kept me going in this movie was the intense suspense it was suspenseful it was intriguing it was um it was um, leading in such a way that would not tire you out or, or exasperate you. Now, this movie has to do with a guy who meets a girl, Tony Tones, and they both fall in love and get married. But um, the marriage was fraught with childlessness and they sought help everywhere. So Tinamba is the mother of Daniel Etimefiong. And Tinamba was said to be, or is said to be, um, a PhD degree holder, but you know she she resorted to traditional means to help her daughter-in-law um, conceive, which Tony Tones wasn't having any of it because she felt like you know the whole the whole remedy, the whole thing, the whole herbs and everything that came was just you know for her and her which meant like it was actually her fault meanwhile they had gone to the doctor who happened to be Demi Okanlowo and also um Daniel Etim Effiong's best friend that um and uh, the doctor as well the gynecologist and um, the test showed that you know they had nothing there was nothing wrong with them with their reproductive organs and they just had to wait now the issue of adoption came up and um, Tony Tones you know outrightly refused um it kind of like put a strain on their relationship the back and forth the, the not necessarily the childlessness it's just um you know the options that were available and um, their stance they had different stance or beliefs or you know approach to it and on one of such nights Tony Tone steps out and um that actually is where the story begins there's one thing about Daniel Etimefiong Daniel Etimefiong is someone i used to ignore um ignore in the sense that it, i have this very bad a habit you know if i'm not used to you on screen i don't get interested in your movies you know so um oftentimes or you know in the past when i would see him start in the movies i would just you know very silly of me though conclude that uh, they're just new to the to the thing if i'm battling with um new to the scene if i'm battling with um old 
Nollywood actors and actresses who have been there all this time, if they still have faults, if they, if I'm still complaining about the movies they stare in or their roles or the way they deliver the roles, how much more? What would then happen to new, or you know, newer actors on this scene? So I would ignore him or ignore the movies I see him in, as well as other new actors and actresses. He's not that new, new. You know, he's been there for a few years now, but then, or a couple of years now, but then, you know, same thing, same rule applies. But um, after I, I have, or I had seen him in um, one or two movies, I think I beg to differ. I'm correcting myself. Daniel Etime Fiong is quite good. Is He is um, someone to watch out for. He is someone that actually makes a movie really interesting good job there with the chemistry between him and tony tones it was quite you know it was palpable tony tones you know tony tones is an embodiment you know she chooses she 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 can give even more than what she gives in the movies i have seen her she 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 has if she has um and she even has 101%, yeah. But she chooses sometimes, or more, or more often than not, to give 80%. I just feel like there's so much more that I can get from Tony Tones. And, you know, um, even though the movie was good, like really good, I just believe that Tony Tones could have done better. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying she did not interpret her role. She did, but I just feel like, there is more to Tony Tones. Like, you know, this kind of scatter body until there's nothing left of you. You bring it all out. Just like, I don't want to compare. I don't want to, I don't want to um, say, oh, this person is better than this person. But I, I just think that Tony Tones is in a class of her own. That kind of class where you see someone like um, um, this lady that acted in this movie. This Tony Tomatoes, what's her name again? I'll put it on the screen. You know, there's, in this in this movie, in this um, limited series, what's the name again? I'll get. I'll put it on on the on the screen. Um, you know, she brings out. She she brought out all of herself until there was nothing left for her to bring out. You know, so that's what I um I think that is where I expect Tony Tones to be. Tony Tones is not just um Tony Tones. She is an exceptionally brilliant actress. And um, she is still, you know, on an iffy, and I, it shouldn't be so. This is the time she has to grab the screen, like, you know, take it on it, you know, be the queen of the screen, because this is her time. This is her turn. This is, this is her. This is Tony Tones. But she, I don't know for what reason, she hasn't brought out that thing that I know still exists because of her role in this, in that movie. What's the name of this movie again? You know, if she could, you know, get into the Yoruba, you know, the, 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 the Yoruba adages and keep talking and talking and talking, you know, non-stop, she can do more. It was from that movie that I knew that there was something to, there was really, really something to Tony Tones. And I'm still waiting for her to bring out that very best, that, you know, that animalistic thing inside that fire you know that will make her an amazingly brilliant actress so i'm still waiting but until then i would say this movie uh, jolly roger is an amazing movie the cinematography is awesome the the sound check everything was good now um moving on with the plot the plot was good the plot was such that you know um it was being tidied you know it, it, the consistent flashbacks smoothly came into the present you know in a way that it wasn't untidy it, 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 it the, the past explains the present the present gave way to the past you know so when you have a question immediately the past pops up to answer your question although it was a little a tad bit um slow uh but i, I would just say it was just the um intense um suspense i'd say but apart from that everything was good everything in the sense that <laughs> everything was all right you know they i i wondered you know i i wondered how though you know um the policeman would just get into the car with you and just start driving to your house 
like arm droppers. You know, it's I, I think that part, that part sound did not seem plausible because it was like Nollywood. Because policemen will want to collect that thing that they want to collect. Even if they have to hold you there or take you to their station or, you know, kidnap you and hold you somewhere, they would not go with you to your house. Who knows what's waiting for them in your house? And how would they have that kind of information? If they are saying, guy, you know us before, you know us this, 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 that. How did they just have all that information about Daniel Etimefion, that he was the one in charge of the money or it got the money from their from their um, from their Oga or something, you know, it didn't just, you know, there were just some places that were a bit, they were not confusing, they just, they just hastily put in that story to make it, um, uh, 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 um, to make it more interesting, but um, it was a bit too childish for me, I would say. Then, um, moving forward, uh, they added one of the dog. You know, that the dog is the only thing the man, like, you know, loves, one of the policemen loves and all of that and all of that. Ah, didn't really make too much sense to me. Okay. And now, um, how come did these people suddenly have the video of that? If they had that money and they, they were betting in the money and all that, would they have also come to Daniel Etimefion's house? And which begs the question, did they know that Daniel Etimofin was going to pass through that way? Because obviously they were just standing and collecting money from everyone passing. So they had no apparent plan for just Daniel Etimofin. Do you understand? So it, 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 it wasn't neat. You know, that part wasn't neat. Okay. But every other thing that transpired was wonderful. I love the role of, um, Okando War. Kamuwa is amazing, to say the least. He rolls into it every character he is given and interprets it to the best of his ability, I would say. Um, he is good. He is wonderful. But I'm shifting the focus back to Daniel Etimefion because he seemed to be the one, you know, carrying everyone along. The same way I've seen someone, um, um, Richard Mufeda Mijo, whatever movie he is, you know, staring in, it tends to, you know, physically almost, you know, bring the whole characters along with him, um, which is what I saw um, in Jolly Roger, even though Tony Tones was there um, and, and um, Tina um, Tinamba and all of that. The, 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 the men, uh, lawyers will say the men's rear, the, that, that main thing. The main issue was on Dave, on on was on Daniel Etimefion, and it was Daniel Etimefion that made this, the the movie a success. I would say his pain, he he his reverie, his um, understanding of his role in it brought out the brilliance in the movie. I would want to even talk about this um, uh, plot, or you know, for a longer time, but it, as it, as much as it centers on police brutality, it also touches, you know, trust in the family, lack of patience, you know, lack of self-control, lack of self-control in the sense that, you know, um, Daniel Etimefion would have waited or what, I don't even know, should, you know, bad luck. So many factors were at play in this movie, but all of these factors worked together to bring this movie to an excellent end. Um, <laughs> Um, well, good thing it, it ended the way it ended, but then it was a wonderful watch for me. I'll be rating it an 8 over 10 because they outdid themselves. If you haven't seen this movie, please do go. You can see it. You can find it on Netflix or you can Google it. Um, a lot of people keep asking me about the different movies I have um, reviewed. Sometimes, uh, well, if you have Netflix, if you're subscribed to Netflix, you can find them. If you are not subscribed to Netflix, you can find them on other TV apps or you just Google it. Well, well let's see where they uh, free stream it or you can download it if you want. Which brings me to the end of this movie review. Up there, you see my Korean movie review, my Nigerian movie review, my Chinese movie review, and then again, my movie reviews. Um, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button to turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up. Thank you so much for doing this for me. Thank you. I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.